Today we're getting this old thing out of my boat and putting all this inside it. I am super excited for this episode today. Welcome to my passion. This is my 1987 Larson DC 170 All-American Silver Edition 75th Anniversary. <sighs> yeah, that's a mouthful. And I named it Sweet Adeline after my daughter. Obviously by the name it was a special edition, special production boat only made in this year. It has all the bells and whistles, lots of stuff that wasn't offered normally in a boat this size around that time. Even the trailer was specially produced for this boat. It sits lower, which makes loading and unloading a lot easier. It features a built-in ice box, a nice built-in bimini cover with cover storage, a slide-out serving table, and the real special thing about this model was the built-in couch seating with a nice swivel captain's chair. It even has a built-in sink, which was out of water when I filmed this. And a built-in porta potty. How awesome is that? Okay, back to what we're here for today. Installing a new audio system in my boat. I wanted to show an affordable boat audio system. Something that won't break the bank, but sounds really good at the same time. And that can be kind of tricky to do sometimes. Also something that doesn't take up too much room, huge subwoofers and such. Now I ran across this company when I was searching for some affordable boat audio stuff and it looked affordable and it looked like good quality. I'll get more into the details of what every single individual thing is here in just a few minutes. Now, I gotta be honest, my excitement got the best of me and I couldn't wait to install the sound system. So I started installing it and my excitement got away from me and I actually ended up installing the entire system. But I did record the key points of the install on my cell phone during the install. Yeah, those are just empty. So here's that cell phone footage now. I started out by removing that old cassette player, which actually wasn't even working, which was the next thing I had to figure out. Once I got the radio removed, I had to be careful because there was a brace on the back of the radio. And it looked a little sharp on the back. I did not want to cut any of the vinyl padding on my dash pad. Before moving any further, I went ahead and put a test light on the power source for the new radio, making sure that there was nothing else I was going to have to figure out before installing it. Then I went ahead and snipped off the old connector for that old clunky cassette tape deck. I installed the new head unit for some before audio and to make sure it was going to work properly. Then. The really scary part, I had to make four holes in my interior of my boat that were never supposed to be there. Then once I got that first hole cut out, I got a speaker installed and jammed out while I finished the rest. As you can see, I used a Kenwood head unit, an underseat subwoofer, and four six and a half inch round speakers with LEDs built in, blue or red, with optional black or white grills. And if you're wanting to duplicate this exact setup, it's going to cost you about $375 pre tax. Hey, you enjoying this episode? If so, consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know when I post other stuff. Before we go any further, I think it's important that we show a little sample of before audio. Keep in mind, it is really hard to pick up good quality incoming audio from a cell phone microphone 
or a camera microphone. So the after audio might not sound that much better, but you're going to have to take my word for it. It sounds awesome. All right, this is some before audio before I have the new speakers in. Just that little guy and that little guy. Now that we've gone through what these speakers are and what they're capable of, on this boat I went there and there, and then I put one across from it and one in front of it. Now what I didn't show on the install was its secret weapon. This sound system secret weapon is an under seat subwoofer. I know what you're thinking. I don't hear a difference. You're going to have to take my word for it. There is a big difference. It sounds much more crisp and that under seat subwoofer adds just the right amount of bass in the perfect location. Unfortunately, it's just hard capturing good audio with those portable little microphones. Here's a second attempt at capturing good audio at nighttime so you can see the full effect of the LEDs. There you have it, a somewhat affordable budget audio system for your boat. Not going to break the bank, it's going to sound good, and it's going to look good. I honestly was a little scared about going with pretty much this whole setup. I was worried about a brand I hadn't heard of. I was also worried about the small six and a half inch round speakers. Those turned out being perfect. They're crisp and they accent the subwoofer in a way that is just perfect. Being out on the lake will be a totally different story, but I'm thinking it's going to be great. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope it helped you out in finding an affordable boat audio system. If you're looking for something like this or similar, I think this would be perfect for you. All right, until next time.